All right, guys. So in this session, we're going to be looking at um, powers where base is the number. So kind of very similar to what you guys did in level one. So the first thing you kind of need to look at is, I mean, if I look at question A here, uh, we've got two and we've actually got 16. And you know that those two numbers are actually related. Because what I mean by related is that you know that two to the power of one is two, two squared is four, two to the power of three is eight. And if you just keep going on, you get two to the power of four is 16. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna replace the 16 with two to the power of four. So when I actually do that, what I'm gonna get is in the numerator, I'm still gonna have two to the power of four n, divided by, and instead of 16, now I'm gonna have two to the power of four. And the law of indices, like when you divide um, with two numbers which have the same base, what you do to the powers, you actually subtract the powers. So this question will end up looking like this. That's just another way of simplifying it. So looking at the next situation here, um, I always look at like, you know, the numbers, you know, once you do like enough of these numbers, you kind of will start seeing a pattern here. So in this case, you've got 2, 8, and 32. So going back to my table on this um, left-hand side, I know that 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So what I'm going to do right now is in this uh, second question where b is 8, I'm going to replace it with 2 cubed. And then when it says 32, I'm going to replace it with 2 to the power of 5. So what I've got here is 2 to the power of n times. Now the, the only thing that I'm replacing is just the 8. And 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3. All right, so this is, this is what 8 is equal to right now, the, whatever is shaded in the green area. And then it's got a power already, which is 2n. And then when I divide it, I've got 32 to the power of n, but 32 I'm going to replace with 2 to the power of 5. So that's, that, um, that's 32 right there. But that's 32 has also been raised to the power of n. So once we have that, then we kind of do our powers, um, powers of powers. So in other words, I've got 2n, nothing happens to it, multiplied by 2 to the power of, because it's powers of powers, we actually go 3 multiplied by 2n, divided by 2 to the power of 5, multiplied by n, because once again, it's powers of powers. So when we do this, we get 2 to the power of n, multiplied by 2 to the power of 6n, and all of that is divided by 2 to the power of 5n. So we follow the normal um, index rule um, rules, so where we've got two bases that are the same, and if you have the two powers, you add them up. So you're gonna get 2n plus 6n divided by 2, 5n. So when we do n plus 6n, we get 2 to the power of 7n divided by 2 to the power of 5n. And then now we subtract the powers, so we're gonna get 2 to the power of 7n minus 5n, which simplifies to 2 to the power of 2n. Now, some people <clears throat> would like to go a bit further, but remember, we want to actually keep this at the lowest base possible. Um, so we're just going to leave this as 2 to the power of 2n. But you can actually do it one more step if you want to, but then that you could do something like this as well, where you could have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of n, but then that just becomes 4 to the power of n, but that's not the lowest base. So the lowest base in this case is actually 2. Okay, so moving on to the next question here. Now I've chosen a, a completely different one here, which is um, 3, 9, and 27, because 3 to the power of 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9, 3 cubed is 27. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start replacing these numbers. Particularly, I'm going to get rid of uh, 27 here, because 27 is equal to 3 cubed. And then I've got 9 here, which is actually equal to 3 squared. So get rid of the 27, I'm going to have 3 to the power of 3. So that's the um, purple part right there, which is equal to 27. But that's actually raised to the power of n plus 2, multiplied by n, uh, sorry, 9, which is 3 squared. That's the green part right here, which, which is worth 9. That's raised to the power of 2, divided by 3 to the power of 2n plus 1. Now, really got to be careful with this, is when we actually do powers of powers in this case, you got to realize that it's actually some people do this, so they actually go 3 to the power of 3 times n plus 2. And what the mistake people do is that they actually go 3 times n plus 2 as the final answer. But in reality, you're actually multiplying the whole thing. Um, and then on this side, you're going to have 3 to the power of 2n divided by 3 to the power of 
2n plus 1. So what you actually have is like a little quadratic. I'm talking about this power here. It actually ends up not a quadratic, but um, you got to expand the brackets. So in other words, you've actually got to go 3 times n, and then you've got to go 3 times 2. So when you do that, you get 3 to the power of 3n, and then 3 times 2 is 6, multiplied by 3, 2n, and the whole thing is 3 to the power of 2n plus 1. Now we keep going. So we've got to add the powers together because the bases are the same now. So we can actually replace that with 3n plus 6 plus 2n, and the whole thing is divided by 3, 2n plus 1. So simplifying the numerator, we're going to get 3, 5n plus 6 over 3, 2n plus 1. Now once again, um, we've got two bases that are the same, and it's being divided, so we've got to subtract the powers. So we're going to get 3, 5n plus 6, and when I say that people make the mistake, they do this, minus 2x plus 1. Now that's actually incorrect, because remember, you're actually subtracting everything from the denominator, and so you have to put a little bracket around it. Because that minus sign is not just going to affect the 2x, but it's also going to affect the plus 1 as well. So what ends up happening is you've actually got 3, 5n plus 6, minus, um, did I put 2x, oops, sorry, that should have been 2n, so it's going to be 2n, and then minus times positive 1 is minus 1, so this final answer here would be 5n minus 2n, which is 3n, 6 minus 1 is plus 5. All right, guys, that's basically some of these types of questions that um, that's that'll be coming up in level 2. And in saying that, as always, please do like this video and share the video with your peers. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, guys, for more content like this. Thank you for watching.